Yo, what's going on guys? So today has been very interesting for this game for many reasons that I will get into. One of them, I've already dropped a video on today, but the other one, or should I say one of them, is the fact that this new event has started, the Vortex Decays Realm. Now, I think we all know why we look forward to these events, and it's not because of anything that you get leading up to the Mastery Reward, which we always hope to be a camo, and it just so happens to be one, the Wriggler Animated Camo camo of course when you preview it you really don't get much from it so we have to unlock it to see how it actually looks in game and to unlock it luckily it's not an xp event we just have to complete these five challenges and once we do we will have the mastery reward in this case the camo do it starting with getting 30 kills with the purifier we also need to get kills with the mosquito drone and the recon turret or whatever it's called so i'm gonna try and get those streaks okay Oh, mosquito drone, fire that in the sky. Try and do both of those at the same time. Come here, thank you. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm weak. Give me an easy kill. Oh, okay, I was pushing my luck. Now we've got the recon turret, that's what it's called. So we can put that down right there and that is going to annoy people so much. But that is going to get us the kills that we need alongside us getting these kills with the purifier. Oh, okay. Thank you. Come here. Thank you. Ooh, have they buffed the range on this thing? I remember when I first used it, this thing was absolutely terrible. Hold up. Fire that in the sky. No! Wait, why did I have my holder? Right here. Thank you. Come on, get kills, please. Luckily, we've got shipment too. They just added the shipment 24-7 playlist, which makes this so much easier. Come here. Thank you. No, no! There we go. We've got the mosquito drone one done. That's the easiest way to do it. Put on the turret and the mosquito drone and it will go by so quickly, especially on this map. Now we need to finish off this purifier one. Come here. Thank you. It's annoying because now I'm stuck with these weird streaks for the rest of the game. Nice. Yeah, they definitely buffed this purifier because it was way worse before. Ooh. There we go. We got that one done as well. Is it the purifier one? Yes, it is. You could have also used a crossbow, but I feel like the purifier was more fun. Okay, so now we have to get throwing knife kill shortly after sprinting, but with the demolition vest. So let's put that on. Oh, that gives us two throwing knives. That makes sense. So now I just need to keep sprinting and hope that I run into people. Oh, come here, buddy. No! Why do I find the shortly after sprinting one so difficult? I don't know if that counts. We need 15 of these, so this might take up a little while. There we go. I just need to get into the groove of a throwing knife. That's all. Yep. Nope. Where are they at? Oh, that's an easy one. If they just stay still like that, then they make my job so much easier. Stay still. Get you. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, there we go. We just need to get close to them. Then it's a lot more... Difficult for me to miss. By the way, we've got a lot to talk about in this video other than unlocking the camo. Oh, flip. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Get you. Nope, I missed. Thank you. Oh, wait, is that the same one? Okay, we got the throwing knife kills one done. Okay, so now we need to get kills with the haymaker using the gunner vest. And what does that give us? Max ammo and improved reload speed. Okay, if this is as easy as just getting kills with this haymaker, I'm not mad at it. I've got the 60 round drum on. This will be a little bit... Oh, never mind. This might be a little bit unfair for them. Yo, could I just say, I don't know what they were thinking adding this operator mod for this haymaker. This is completely broken. Oh, wait, I think we got it done, even though we're not about to see it. Wait, there we go. We got the 40 kills with the haymaker done. Now we need one more, which is get 40 hip fire operator kills with the jack back saw. What? I'm not sure why they are making me get hip fire kills with this. Oh, okay. I guess that's exactly what we will do. Bro, what am I even using? Great. Damn. All right, here we go again. I don't need that many more kills. Honestly, I think that's what makes it even more annoying. <laughs> I want to have words with whoever thought that this challenge would be a good idea. Yo! Why is this thing so bad? I literally only need a couple more kills. Come on, man. There's one. Please? Okay, wait. No! Come on. 
No, no, move, 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 move. Is something going to pop up for completing it? There we go. The Riggler camo unlocked. Thank you. And just before I leave this game, let me put this down right here just to annoy everyone and also put my mosquito in the sky. So now if we go over to the event, we can see mastery reward obtained. If we click on this, we can see I have now completed every single one of the five challenges, which means I now have the mastery reward. So let's go over to the camos. I assume it's in special, right? Some, no, 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 no. Events. It should be in events. Where are you at? Riggler camo, Riggler. Oh, it's at the end. <laughs> What the flip is this? That looks disgusting. <laughs> disgusting! And here it is in game. I mean, I don't really know what to say about this one. It's literally a bunch of, I guess, worms moving around on the gun. I guess the one thing I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh, okay, great. I guess the one thing I'm a little bit disappointed in is the fact that I guess it is animated, but it's not like the worms are actually moving through the gun. It's almost like, if you guys can see, a wallpaper going around. There's not much texture to it, if that makes sense i don't really understand why they stopped doing that i guess it takes a lot more effort to do black ops 3 had that on lock where the camos would actually look like they were flowing through the weapon i don't know if you guys remember dark matter from that game but it was huh? which oh wait why have i got a shotgun on Wait, what the? Oh, it's from the challenges. <laughs> but yeah, I wish we could get back to that. Anyway, a bunch of season three information just came out a couple hours ago, at least at the time of me recording this video. And let's just say it's crazy. Rebirth Island is, of course, coming back, which we all know about. That's fine. But they also announced that Ranked Play, which is currently only on Fortune's Keep, is moving over to Rebirth Island. Crazy. I was really hoping for that. Didn't think it would happen. Turns out it is happening, which is amazing. I will literally play so so much of that. You guys have no idea. Even recently, I started playing some ranked play on Fortune's Keep and I was really enjoying it. And now for it to be on Rebirth Island, what? Not only that though, they also confirmed that Champion's Quest is also coming to Rebirth Island. If you don't know what Champion's Quest is, that's the nuke. The Warzone nuke is coming to Rebirth. What? That's absolutely insane. Come on. I want to go for that too. There's literally so much to look forward to. They knew how big Rebirth was and they just went all out with it. And that makes me happy. So I'm really excited for that. They also did confirm that the Morse and the BAL 27 from Advanced Warfare are coming back as the DLC weapons. Even the MP9, I believe, which was an SMG in that game. W, in my opinion, again, I hope the Morse is like a fast firing sniper just so it fits in and it's actually usable. There's just so much happening with season three that I don't even know where to start. And do you know how long it's been since I've had that feeling of not knowing where to start? Ah, oh, it's beautiful, man. Again, you can use this camo on a Modern Warfare 2 weapon. We've got it on the intervention right here. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this camo. It is animated, don't get me wrong, but it's not the best. I don't think it was supposed to be the best though, let's be honest. Let's be honest, it's a bunch of worms moving around. I don't think they were revolutionizing the game with this camo, but I just wish it had a little bit more texture to it. That's all. Oh my. Woo! Why that in the sky? Why not? I've got it on. Zombies is getting some content. They also confirmed some events that we're going to be getting. Oh, a double kill. They also confirmed a couple events that we're going to be getting during season three, including a Godzilla versus Kong event again. I don't know if that's going to be a massive in-game event like it was in Warzone 1. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. Smoke. Great. Uh, which way? Wait. Of course, there's a guy late in the smoke. It's also the first time in a while I've seen people so hyped for a new season. People are saying Call of Duty is back, all types of stuff. <laughs> they seem to really want people to enjoy this season and be hyped for it. So I, I am... Oh, I, that's crazy. I actually hit someone with that throwing knife. Woo! The more I look at this camo, the more I literally hate it. <laughs> to be fair, though, it is really easy to get. And I also think I hate it so much because we did just get the Rotten Inferno camo, and that's one of the best camos we've got in the game. And then this next to it just doesn't compare. But it is really easy to get. You have to complete five easy challenges, and then boom, you've got it. So it's obviously not going to be the most insane camo, right? Multiplayer is also getting some new maps, which I'm looking forward to. One of them is a new London-based one, 
called Grime. Love the name. Someone also said that it's not like Piccadilly. And if you guys remember Piccadilly the map, I absolutely hated it. If it's something like Hackney Yard, oh. Mm. Ooh, can we win this game? No, hit marker. <laughs> he got a hit marker on me. If we lose this game, I'll be so upset. Come on. No. Teammates, pick up the tags. We found a shotgun. No! Wait, it's tied. A draw? <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before. Anyway, that is definitely enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. Two animated camos in one day, as well as a blueprint. I can't be mad at that. But yeah, man, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. We've got a lot to look forward to with season three, so I'm really excited for that. Make sure you guys stay tuned on the channel for that, but I'll see you guys in the next one.